A blessed day to you all my viewers and my subscribers Welcome back, welcome back to the channel and my people Yeah man So in this one I have a couple of congratulations to give out Yes We see where former West Indies white ball captain Nicholas Puran was recently awarded as the TNT Cricket Board International Player of the Year. So we're gonna give you some info on that. Plus we see where West Indies captain uh, Haley Matthews, she is now standing atop of the world where the rankings um, is concerned. So we're gonna talk about those two couple of things. Just give a listening ear until the end. And let me know what you all think in the comment section. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, you need to subscribe. Show us strength. Give us support. Zane? Alright, so the Nicholas Puran um, story first. Taking this one from the OR, the website called the OnlyCricket24.com. Right? This is their information. Um, for all the supporters here from Trinidad and Tobago, you guys can give us some more details in the comment section as it relates to if there is anything special that they are looking for when they are giving out this award. So the headline says, West Indies middle order batter Nicholas Puran named TNT Cricket Board International Player of the Year. So it says, West Indies middle order batsman Nicholas Puran was named the TNT Cricket Board International Player of the Year when the Trinidad and Tobago Cricket Board held um, its award ceremony last Saturday. So it says, the left-handed former West Indies white ball captain was, tremend was in tremendous form for the Caribbean team this calendar year and in franchise cricket. They also say, and the newly minted captain Shea Hope, they both stood shoulders above their teammates during the ill fated uh, the ill-fated uh, ICC World Cup qualifiers in Zimbabwe in which the two-time champions failed to qualify for the World Cup for the first time in its history. They say the left-hander was not present with uh, the national senior team manager. Well, the left-hander was not um, present. They say the, C uh, the national senior team manager David Furlong collected the award on his be behalf. They say Puran was part of the Trinibago Knight Riders team that made it to the finals of the 2023 Caribbean Premier League, scoring 219 runs at an average of 32.33. He also scored 137 not out of 55 balls to lead the Mumbai Indians New York um, to their inaugural Major League Cricket title in July. You guys would probably remember that. They say Puran scored 428 runs in nine one-day internationals with two hundreds at an impressive average of 61. A further 234 runs at an average of 39 in 80 20 internationals. Some good um, batting there. Right? They say Darren Bravo, the new captain of the Red Force, was named the National Player of the Year for his hundreds at the regional level. They say Bravo scored 446 runs in five matches for Trinidad and Tobago Red Force during the 2023 West Indies Championship and averaged 55.75 with two centuries and a 50. They say he was also prolific in the local scene and the local scene scoring valuable runs for Queen's Park Cricket Club and several other franchise teams. So shout out to Darren Bravo. You guys would probably remember that um, he wasn't too far from, make, get it, from making a comeback um, for West Indies the other day. But with Alec Arthanis coming through and Kurt McKenzie, you know, those guys got the opportunity. And um, they grabbed it. You can see that they grabbed it with both hands. So shout out to Nicholas Puran and Darren um, Bravo for getting um, for getting those 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 awards there. All right, my people. So moving on to the next um, story, we want to say shout out to West Indies women's captain Haley Matthews. Um, she has climbed all the way to the top of the rankings. And she is now the number one all rounder, um, right? Number one all rounder in the world. So shout out to Haley Matthews. Um, it's always good when you see our players, you know, stepping up and is not only dominating, uh, in the region, but when you put them on the, the scene where the, you know, on the, on the world scene, they, they match up. Um, 
you guys would remember that she scored that 99 not out in the first uh in the first t20 the other day against australia and then she got a hundred and i think it was 132 in the second one so it just goes to show my viewers and subscribers that when you put in the work you know it will be reflected in the numbers um in the rankings that's why when i hear some people say they don't believe in the in the rankings um you know i i, I am thinking that sometimes the way in which the way in which how fast it changes you know it's really weird but I am working with the rankings because usually it's the players that perform, you see, at the top of the rankings and the ones that are not performing, they are usually way down. You understand? So I don't really understand 100% how they calculate it, but I want to say shout out to Haley Matthews for getting up there. Um, as I said, you know, it's, it's, it's really good. Um, gone are the days when we would dominate the rankings, even in the T20 format. You know, I remember back in the days when we used to have Sunil Narayan and, um, Samuel Badri ranking at one and two. They would switch spots every now and again. Badri would be one, Narayan two, then it would turn on Narayan one, Badri two, and then we would still have Chris Gale ranked as the number one T20 batsman. Then we had people like Dwayne Bravo there, you know, when Russell was firing. So, it's 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 not really it's not really it's not really a popular thing these days to see a lot of West Indians in the I don't know if I should say popular but it's it, you know we don't really have a lot of players um being ranked like that these days they still perform at the franchise level some of them but at the international level we don't really get much of them performing you understand so um you know it's it's good when you see the it's good when you see players are are are, are putting in the work consistently to, to to climb up in the rankings you know so want to shout out to her i i think tomorrow is the f um, third and final t20 game of this series against australia and you know i mean we we we, we managed to tie up the series so why not go for the victory why not go for the fire series win um Haley matthews in her in her interview after the, the second game said that you know uh, the fact that they were able to win that game it has given the team a lot of confidence and they are looking to use that to try and, and, and go for the for the win in the third and final T20. Um, Stephanie Taylor she has you know she she is blowing hot and cold from the other day but she gave us an half century in the last game so if she can dig out another performance um, if we're a bowling first, it would be nice if we don't have to chase down at 213 or whatever it was again. You understand? It would be nice if the ladies would be able to, to get them out cheaply and we can, um, get another convincing, um, uh, can get a convincing win. But, uh, it just goes to show that the Aussies can be beaten. They have a good team there at home, but they can be beaten. Can I imagine scoring 200 and, 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 and what was it? 12 and, and, and the West Indies chase it down. That there's a lot of confidence there, man. A lot of confidence booster. So, you know, we're hoping that the ladies will be able to go out there and get, get things up and running. Especially with Matthews firing as she is. So we're gonna leave this one right here so for now, my people. Big up on yourselves, eh?